How would you like to know what a conflicted market looks like? Stay tuned. Hello, Washington, it's Ed Lane, bringing you the latest insights for my July 2024 Northwest Market Update. In June, we saw some fascinating trends. While the typical seasonal inventory increases were noted, the market deviated from expected patterns in sales volumes. Despite a significant 35.7% increase in inventory since last June, closed sales have actually dipped by 3.1%. Why, you might ask? Well, with mortgage rates just under 7, 6.95 as of last week, buying power is still under pressure impacting buyer activity. Some key takeaways, June's median sale prices across residential homes and condos hit 650000 marking a 4% increase from last year. Notably, counties like San Juan, King County, where I'm sitting, and Snohomish County saw the highest median prices showcasing regional hotspots for investment. As for current inventory, active listings surged to 14,393, a stark contrast to last year's 10,607. This rise in available properties is providing buyers with more options helping stabilize prices as we head deeper into the summer. Closings, however, are another story. Despite overall growth in listings, sales volume actually declined. However, with just over two months worth of inventory available, Washington remains a competitive market. Counties like Snohomish and King are particularly tight with less than two months of inventory. And remember, a quote, balanced market would be six months of inventory. So this is a strong seller's market, but behaving like a buyer's market due to interest rates. This is what we mean by a conflicted market. CoreLogic's chief economist, Selma Hepp, points out that while increased inventory offers more choices, high mortgage rates are making affordability a key concern. But there is a silver lining. This could ease the upward pressure on home prices, moving us towards a more normalized market. So what are my top three tips if you're thinking about buying? Well, number one, explore more options. With more listings available, expand your search criteria to find hidden gems. Number two, capitalize on programs. Take advantage of programs like down payment assistance or other DPA resources to make your home purchase more affordable. And three, stay patient. Use the current market dynamics to negotiate a better deal. Now, if you're thinking about selling, what are my top three tips for sellers? Number one, price smartly. With a slight cooling in transaction volumes, correct pricing is more crucial than ever to attract serious buyers. Number two, enhance curb appeal. First impressions count. Small improvements can significantly boost your home's appeal. Even consider using our moving concierge program where we will fix up your home with our money and you keep the profit. With one of my clients earlier this year, we spent $83,000 and their home sold for $255,000 above asking. That's over a 300% return. And number three, highlight unique features. In a market with rising inventory, make sure your home stands out by emphasizing unique selling points. As we navigate these changing tides, stay in, staying informed is key. Whether you're buying or selling, understanding the current market conditions can help you make smarter real estate decisions. For more insights and personalized advice, reach out to me, Ed Lane, your trusted local real estate expert. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss an update. Interested in buying or selling in Washington? Contact me today to get started.